What up? Alright guys, sorry about that. I had a call from a friend. But we're good now. Um... We probably... Somewhere. Um, I guess we're done with this room, or yeah, I think so. <gasps> okay, let's go. Let's put our lamp away. Get out of here. So we need to go to a certain room. This way. What's in here? Yeah, I'm so scared. Something's behind me. Okay. It won't budge. Here we go. Notes. Go to the inner sanctum. Go to the inner sanctum, I guess. Those are oil. Low. I don't know where the inner sanctum is. That's a problem. There's gotta be a room in here. of resling it in his mouth, Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones. Alright. Sweet. Alright, we gotta go to that hall. Oh, God. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Looks like we're out of oil. Alright, let's go up top. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. That's boring. What's up here? Oh. No, nothing in there. Valorian? Archives? The other children shoot him on his name, voice, and suddenly rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? Young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. I like this place. God, I hate those noises. I offer my full attention and services to Alexander Marin of Melba. This contract will run over a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me in addition to Alexander Baron of Brandenburg is recommended in my services at the pr 
Persian royal court and within the sanctum of order of black people. What is that? This 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay, cool, bro. Jesus, I just got the goosebumps. God. What's this room? Local history. The door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Let's do what we can. 
There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble, and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Oh, yes, oil. Thank the Lord. Let's get out of here. May 1839. Oh my god. I tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped. <gasps> I was trapped. All right, I think we can we can skip those. Just in that room. Or oil. That's good. <laughs> 